Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. How are you doing today? Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. And we have my good friend, Stephen Dow with me this morning. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic as always. How are you? I'm doing well, man. Every day is Saturday. Hey, so one thing I want to talk about in this first video is something that goes by portfolio or blanket loans. Um, right. You know, I get, you know, I'm, I'm helping thousands of students around the country and I still get asked a lot. Anybody know a good portfolio lender? That's usually the question I get. Right. So I thought we should talk about it because I think Velocity Mortgage and yourself are, are a good answer. But let's get let's get the marketing thing or the, the CYA thing out of the way first and then we'll, we'll dive Thank in. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. So again, uh, although I work for Velocity Mortgage Capital, uh, all the topics and ideas uh, discussed on this channel are the, all of my own. Otherwise, uh, let's get it rolling. There you go. God, you're a, you're a public company, so we just got to say that every time. So I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, that's okay, though. That's yeah. fine. I, I get it. It's okay. Uh, but let's talk about what a blanket or portfolio loan is, right? Uh, just sure. so we can start from a, a, a framework. So you want to you give it a shot? Well, uh, typically, uh, in the case of a blanket loan or portfolio loan, you're just trying to you know, get financing on multiple properties um, to be financed uh, under one loan mm -hmm. to you know, give you the ease of use of just one mortgage payment instead of, say, 10 if yeah. you're looking to buy up 10 properties. So there's definitely some uh, savings uh, to that and uh, additional features that would assist you in financing properties that are typically below the minimum you know, requirement mm -hmm. to be able to stand on, the, on their own. So that's def definitely the upside to it. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen portfolio loans come up in, in lots of different examples. You know, I have, you know, in my circle of influence and in, in people I've worked with, so, sometimes they go, Hey, I want to buy five, eight, 10, 20 properties in some Midwest city. And maybe the average purchase price is 40 grand, right? Uh, 40 grand is too low to do individual loans pretty much for any bank because of Dodd-Frank. So those are, you know, non-starters. Uh, however, if your intentions, let's just use 20 as the numbers to own those 20, hold them forever. Uh, you know, a blanket or a portfolio loan is a great answer, but the problem is you can't go to a bank, right? Most people's answer is, Hey, I'm going to go to Wells Fargo or, you know, whatever. And, you know, maybe if you're a, you know, the top 1%, you've got 10 million bucks in the bank, they're going to bend over and make exceptions, but that's not right. most people, right? Most people are going to go, Hey, I found a great deal. I can get 20 houses in a four block area. Somebody's selling them off and I want them all. And they're like, right. I have, I have 20% down, right? I have, I have the down, but I still can't get the loan. And what do I do? Right. And do I, you know, do I syndicate or, you know, all these things I'm like, no, dude, today it's so much easier. Just go find a non QM lender. They'll do portfolio loans all the time. You know, there are exceptions yes. and you have the money. So you make the rules. You don't do some States and all of that stuff. But I would right. tell people to call Velocity Mortgage, right? Reach out to you because, th you know, that's oh, a big part no, of your business. I, that's a huge part, actually. And, and it's been um, quite funny and coincidental that, you know, this is the topic of, of this week. But this last couple of weeks, I've had several uh, people reach out to me specifically for that. Now that they know that that type of financing is available, they're just now looking at, you know, portfolios to, you know, kind yeah. of cherry pick which ones they want and then sometimes group them together to be which ones the way they're looking to, you know, fix and keep or fix and flip. So we're just going through that strategy and deal structure right now. But yeah, I've got a couple of deals in the works right now. Yeah. I mean, I got one question from a California investor, right? I believe he was talking about Sacramento or something. I, I get lots of emails. So right. sometimes I forget. He's like, Hey, I want to buy 11 houses in Sacramento. And the average purchase right. price is, you know, 250 grand. Right. And he's like, right. I can't get a bank to listen to me. I'm like, well, you know, you're going to pay a little more than bank money, but again, bank money's not an option. So really right. don't compare it because it's not an option. Uh, you know, reach out and have a conversation with, with, with Steve. Um, because again, you know, you're going to have to have a down payment. It's not like you're going to do a portfolio loan and loan hundred percent. Let's not be crazy. Right. Um, right. But let's just assume they're going to keep them all. What's the basic structure. Are you going to look for 25, 30% down and something like that? I know everybody, everything, you know, Sure. There's lots of rules sure, I'll, I'll call you, but what's like the framework? Sure. Well, typically uh, it's a maximum of 75% LTV. So at least 25% okay. down. How, however, we do allow up to an 80% CLTV, meaning uh, combined loan to value. So ah. if you find a seller that has enough equity and maybe they're, you know, about to hit their threshold that takes them, you know, as far as their capital gains hit and takes uh -huh. them to the next threshold, if they can carry a 5% second, you only have to come in with 20%. So let me just make sure I understood that, right? So let's just say yes. I'll run two scenarios, right? Let's just say it's 20 houses, uh -huh. whatever it is. Yep. And let's say yep. you get a bulk discount. 
let's say you get a 10% discount. Let's just, let's say it was sure. 2 million. You're going to buy it for 1.8. Your 25% okay. purchase or the 25% LTV is to the purchase price of 1.8, correct? Or is it to the appraised value? Correct. Of no, it's, to, it's okay. to the purchase price. Okay. So yep. 1.8, but if in that example, if they, if you got 2 million purchase, uh, right. you'll do 75, but you'll allow the seller to take back a 5% second. And that example would be the, 100 grand. Well, it would be on the 1.8 because it's on the purchase price. You always do no, the loan yeah. amount off the purchase price. I, I just, price value, yeah, correct. I no, wasn't, I, I wasn't clear. The, you've got the step. Yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah. So 90 grand. Okay. Got right. It. All right. So that's, that's cool. So again, you'll yeah. do 75% of the purchase price, but it'll be, right. you can get a 5% second. And again, if a seller's right. going to do that kind of deal, um, I've negotiated those dozens of times. So it, it, that's yeah. very creative. Okay. Yep. So in that case, then uh, all the properties have to be are at least 50,000 or higher as far as value. Okay. Because they have to meet our minimum loan requirement of 75,000. Sure. So if you have at least two properties in a blanket, each valued at 50,000 or higher, the combined value is 100,000. 75 good. of 100,000 is 75. Yep. We're good. You're good. Okay. And I just want to make sure one more example. So let's just say the owner was willing to take back 20%. In that example, because again, you'll only go to 80, you would loan 60%, yep. right? So that's just simple. Correct. Enough. Very good. Exactly. Okay. Very good. All right. So again, folks, if you're out there looking for deals uh, and you you thought you couldn't do a complete portfolio, right? Buy, I'll call it buy in bulk, right? Use the strength yep. of buying in bulk. You need to reach out to you know a non-QM lender. I recommend Velocity Mortgage and Steven specifically. Uh, how do you want them to get a hold of you? Email is probably the best because uh, now with overwhelming response, yeah. I can't pick up my phone fast <laughs> enough. As soon as I start to listen to all the voicemails and delete them, boom, another 30 pops up. So email is the best because I can kind of, you know, filter them out and then get to them and, and structure or, you know, level of importance or, 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 or prioritize, you know, someone's yeah. like, oh, I need, you know, I got a deal now. I got to call you or, yeah, I'm just kind of checking out. I just want to know what my options are. So we try to pri prioritize because there's only 24 hours in one day. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, and again, folks, uh, non-QM lenders are such a big part of one rental at a time. He's actually a link in the description below, I think is his email. He has his own playlist. So go check him out again. If you're looking to do deals, it's probably probably a good idea to reach out early. Make sure you understand what you qualify for. Uh, again, I yep. as we'll see in episode number three, banks are getting tighter. So you might want to do yourself a favor and get ready, at least have a plan B, because uh, I have a feeling banks are going to get tight exactly. here for the next year or so. So Stephen, man, thank you very much for your time this Friday morning. We got an exciting episode two coming. Thank you so much again, and always appreciate the opportunity. You got it.